Hey guys, Kev here. Today we are going to be talking about how to use the machine hardware controller in the Reaper sequencer. Um, for some of us, myself included, um, sometimes it's better to sequence machine and other plugins in a traditional DAW environment. Um, but it can get a little finicky with um, different DAWs. You know, every DAW responds to um, different things differently. There was a way to do this with Machine 1.8 and prior, but that got broken with 2.0, and I haven't seen any videos on YouTube that um, cover 100% how to make it work. So this is actually, I found the absolute best way to make Machine 2.0 um, work, particularly with the controller in your DAW. I'm using Reaper for this example. Um, but as far as I can tell, this should work on any and all DAWs. As long as you can get the MIDI information from your from machine to your DAW. I did have issues making that happen with Sonar. Um, but it seems to be working pretty well with Reaper. So, here we go. I had, it took me a little bit of time to figure this out. I've already preloaded machine. I've already preloaded a, um, just the first kit that's in my list. Um, now, what you're going to want to do. First off, in machine, you're going to need to set up this MIDI. You're going to want to go to Group. And then on the group, you're going to need to go to MIDI. Now, this is the compressor. We don't need the compressor. Let me see here. We want to go to channel settings. There we go. So, on the channel setting, you're going to go into input. You need to make this sure this is active. And since you don't have the MIDI batch set up anymore, what you do is you actually set it up on this channel setting. And it's easiest to do it in the software, which is why I'm doing it in the software. You can do it from the controller, um, but it, like I said, it's just faster and easier to do it in the software. So I'm only going to show you how to do it in the software. Um, then you're going to want to go to this root note, root note tab and, or um, knob. And this is where I got lost before. I figured this is Saturday morning. I spent most of the last night, Friday night, figuring this out. Wherever the pads start is where you need your root note to be. And that's what this slider is about. Um, the controller outputs from C0 um, and to whatever DAW you have. Now, of course, we know, you know, most of these sounds start at C1 or C3. So, you actually have to transpose this down to C0. Zero um, on the machine, in the machine software. Once you go from there, right now my controller is in machine, regular machine mode. I'm going to close machi the machine software now because I don't need that anymore. And I'm just going to show you what it does. Again, my right now my controller is controlling the regular old machine software. And I'm going to record just to give you an idea of what it actually does real quick. You see that it, you can hear the sounds, but there's no MIDI data. Because I'm still in the regular machine control mode. And that's what usually happens with most people. Now when we go into contr MIDI control, um, control mode, you're still controlling these sounds, but again, if you didn't transpose it down, you would have been hitting the wrong notes. So it wouldn't have recorded into the sequencer. So now that I'm in MIDI control mode, I'm gonna go ahead and this time I'll record these notes again with the machine controller. And you hear there again. Yeah, I'm not making anything in particular, but you see now the notes are actually in the sequencer. So remember that you have to set it up in the machine software. That's the biggie here. Set it up in the channel tab, go active, set that root note down to C0 because that's where the controller transput, or that's the note that the that the controller transput is for, or outputs is from C0 on. And then from there, remember to go into MIDI control mode by holding shift and hitting control and it should work out for you. As far as I know, this is how it works in every DAW with 2.0. Um, of course, if you guys see anything different, please let me know, of course, in the comments below. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Check out kevwestbeats.com. Thanks for watching.